All right, we're downloading the MyTech distribution for Windows. It's found at the www.tug.org backslash protex forward slash, excuse me, forward slash. Um, I'll send the link up with the uh, description of the YouTube video. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to download this little guy right here. And it's going to be quite a while. It is a big file. It's not 750 megs. It's actually 1.3 gigs so that's a little misleading make sure you have plenty of time to download it and get everything in order so um, the purpose of this is to download uh, and to get my tech into uh, our studio so that you can do dynamic reporting all right so we click on it and then we click on the exe All right, I've downloaded it, and we're going to go ahead and just run it. I'm double-clicking it. It's an .exe file, and it's going to be asking us, where do I want to put it? Well, I want to put it onto my desktop for the time being. I just Basically, this is a file that's going to be used to set up everything else. It's extracting, it is an exe file, so again, 1.3 gigs. And this is a big file and it's gonna be extracting on your desktop. And this is gonna take a little bit of time. So while that's doing that, uh, basically, because the file is so big because it has so many files that MyTech and the particularly the LaTeX files need to have in order to run and to be able to compile the code necessary. And all this is done um, fairly quickly, well, as quickly as can be given the size of the file. And so I'm just going to pause it for just a second until it's all done. All right, it's getting to the end here and it's finished up. So I'm going to be closing down all of this stuff and opening up the file that I need to with the um, setup buttons. All right, so basically what we have here is I pushed on the little icon. You'll notice all these little funny things on my desktop. Those are all the files that we need to install, the Protect. Um, system or program and I'm going to be clicking on the text setup which brings me up now let me just show you this little guy right here and really I don't need the text studio all I want is the mic tech English is language you can do others you can open up the manual but really it was not necessary I want to install the mic tech so we click on install asking us if we want to do that I accept next I want the complete system and one for computer and at this point you just leave it as is you put in the file as you're having it as it's going through the system um, because that's how uh, our studio is going to be finding it. It's going to go through the program files and it's going to be looking for a file that looks similar to this. So you want to keep this the same. And then you just push next. Now because mine's already installed, it's not empty, there's something there, I don't like it. Yours should be empty, so it should be able to go through. And not a problem. But make sure you are connected to the internet and that everything is good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of it. And I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this as well. I'm going to start my R Studio. All right. Now, um, when you start off, let me get rid of a couple of these here. Um, basically, all I did was I go to an RSweave document. I created one right here. Basically, very simple, an article. Most of this came in already. Um, I put in Hello World. 
I highlighted it, went to formatting, went to italic to emphasize it. Um, as soon as you open up the Sweeve document, if you've installed it correctly, it should be blank. There should be nothing up here. If you did not install it correctly, there's going to be a yellow banner on this right here that says missing the LaTeX um, in general compiler. So that's going to be, that's going to tell you real quick. Um, but to, just to go through options under the tools, click on the sweeve. We want the sweeve, we want the PDF, LaTeX. Everything looks good. I like the Sumatra. It's really nice. The system viewer gets annoying because you have to close it every time you compile it. You can also use the RStudio viewer. Um, and all that is pretty much good. Okay, and then it should be readily available and all right. Okay, so um, just to do through an example again, hello world emphasis is the. And let me just redo it here. Basically, all I did was I typed in this, added italics. And that's where you get the emphasis and the brackets. Um, you get these. by going into the chunks, insert chunk. And I like to just hit the tab. It gives you all sorts of fun options. Echo, and I want it true. I also want a figure. I also want that to be true as well. So X is going to be in sequence between one and 20. Y, a normal, distribution with 20 different variables and then we're going to plot x and y not terribly whiz bang or cool i just wanted to make sure everything looks good looks good i have everything in here looks great okay and i'm going to push the compile And if you did it correctly, you should get something like that, where hello world is italicized. You see the code. That's what that echo equals true means. It see, says you can see the code. If you put it to false, the code is not seen. Figure is true. You want the figure to be printed off. And there's basically the graph that we produced. And down here in the console, you can actually see how it was all compiled and everything is good. So that's how you get um, LaTeX into RStudio and how you get it up and running.